Cause I didn't clap Radio is playing my song Yeah I got a record label that's pulling me on But I still stay classic Hey what's going on guys, this is Matt and today I'm going to be showing you how to play classic video games in style with OpenEMU for Mac. Let's get started. The world has no shortage of video game emulators, but many can be painful to use. Many reflect their hacker's origins with equally hacky interfaces, and you need a vast collection of different emulators to properly relive your childhood. By contrast, OpenEMU is a breath of fresh air. Released this week only for Mac, the new emulator lets you drag and drop games from any of the 12 different classic video game systems right into its interface, navigate using their cover art, and even look up a wide variety of game controllers to play them with, a minimum of fuss and bother. Presently, the attractive interface supports games for a healthy number of classic consoles, including the NES, SNES, Genesis, Saga 32X, Saga Master System, and TurboGrafx-16. Portables are represented too, the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, Game Gear, Neo Geo Pocket, and even the Virtual Boy are playable. The DS still needs some work. You can't rotate the screens for vertically oriented games like Rhythm Heaven and Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword, but you can use your mouse or trackpad to emulate rudimentary stylus input. You won't find any more consoles or arcade machines yet, but OpenEMU's developers say it's only a matter of time the PlayStation, Nintendo 64, Atari 2600, and even the PSP should be added in future updates. For now, the best part is just how easy it is to hook up your existing gaming controllers to a MacBook and get that console feel on the road. Hook up a Wii Remote or DualShock 3 over Bluetooth, or plug in a PS4 with a micro USB charging cable, and you're good to go. There's no need for dedicated PC gaming controllers, and you can even download a third-party driver to get your Xbox 360 gamepads working. It's probably worth noting that the OpenEMU team didn't write the code that lets you actually play these games. The program uses cores of existing emulators to get the job done, but the result is an elegant and functional interface that perhaps is the most convenient way to get into console gaming yet, and one whose open source nature means that things should only be getting better in future versions. Anyway guys, if you liked this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel as it really does help me out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.